Welcome back friends. In this video, we'll be talking about housekeeping genes. So what are housekeeping genes? Housekeeping genes are the type of genes that are present in your body, which are constitutively expressed and produce proteins. Constitutively expressed means it is expressed slowly during all the time uh, wh while I'm talking, while doing all the tasks, it's secreted in your body because all the proteins that are secreted, I mean that are, that are expressed uh, by that housekeeping genes are necessary in your body, are necessary in your cell all the time to maintain either the structure of the cell or any chemical process inside the cell. So there are many such genes present there which are expressed all the time in your body. But the thing is there, they can also be you know uh, environment specific. Sometimes what happens, uh, sometimes for example in extreme heat, the housekeeping genes start secreting more than the normal time. Right? So those things may occur, but the thing is they will start secreting itself, they will start expressing itself, uh, stop say, secreting there, they will start expressing itself in different circumstances no matter what is going on. And one example for that for example is histones. So I will give you some examples like, like say histones. Histones are particular proteins that are required for the wrapping of DNA uh, in so the production of nucleosome structure. So it is a protein molecule where the DNA will be wrapped around to have a compact structure. So it is required no matter what circumstance we are in. So it should be produced all the time in our body. Similarly ATPase, ATPase in an enzyme without the ATPase we cannot actually survive because uh, during different situation in our body we need to break down ATP. We need to get some energy from ATP. In that case ATPase is required. Now the genes for metabolism, most of the metabolic pathways like amino acid metabolism, uh, carbohydrate metabolism, the genes or the proteins required, the enzymes required in glycolysis, we always require those for surviving. So those genes are called housekeeping genes. Why they are called housekeeping? Just like the house stuff that, that we need to do th this every day otherwise uh, it will be very bad for us, right? So like the housekeeping which is a very important task, housekeeping genes are also present there all the time, it's the local genes but will be transcribed throughout the time. But they can also uh, be transcribed in uh, higher, uh, I mean the expression can be very much high uh, during uh, certain type of uh, conditional situations like uh, elevation of temperature or, uh, or any cold conditions or any kind of different conditions uh, that may arrive. But usually it is secreted in a particular level throughout the cell or cellular life. That is the housekeeping genes guys. So usually housekeeping genes has a promoter and all those transcription factors that are present in our body, they are always present inside the cell for transcribing all those housekeeping genes. And the thing is inside the cell as the production of histone is very important, as the production of ATPase is very important, inside the cell we do not have a tight regulation over how the housekeeping genes will be secreted. Usually uh, we do not kind of, we do have a kind of regulation in housekeeping gene secretion but the thing is even if there are no repressor, the housekeeping gene, even if there is a repressor, the housekeeping gene can be transcribed and translated into proteins in very minute amounts. That is kind of room that is provided, that is kind of advantage that is provided to the housekeeping genes in our body. So for that reason, if any housekeeping genes get some mutation or alteration, that can lead to dangerous effect inside the cell because that is uh, in turn is not that much regulated. Right? So that's kind of it about house regulate, uh, housekeeping genes and I hope that's helpful. Thank you. If you like the video, uh, hit subscribe button and also like the video. Share it uh, with your friends in your social networks. Thank you.